Representatives Joint Committee is investigating the high cost of cement in Nigeria and has asked the major manufacturers, including Dangote Cement and Lafarage, to provide documents showing their production costs. The committee wants to determine a fair price for cement and reduce the current market price, which is over 10,000 Naira in most areas. The committee also criticized the Federal Competition Consumer Protection Commission, FCCPC, for its inactions, which has allowed middlemen to sell cement at exorbitant prices to Nigerian consumers. Undoubtedly, just as air is to the human being, so is cement to the built industry. And with a housing gap of over 16 to 20 million, in Nigeria, you will know that cement plays an integral and critical role in the economic well-being of our country. I was reading somewhere today, and the Minister of Housing said that the Nigerian people will be needing at least five trillion annually to address the housing shortages. Earlier, the group managing director, GMD, of Dangote Cement Company, Arvin Pathak, said that 95% of production costs are either imported or linked to foreign exchange. He explained that there have been between 100 to 333% increase in the price of major cement input materials like gas, AGU, gypsum, imported coal, spare parts, new trucks, tires, petrol, among others. You see, the fundamental problems that we are facing now in this country is as the result of unnecessary increment in prices of commodities. And these commodities, most of the raw materials that are being used to produce these items are found in this country. You don't import them. For example, like the cement, it constitutes about 75 70 to 75 percent of the uh, uh, material you use in producing cement. Yes, check. Then other things. But here we are today. Nigerians are very angry dudes. Our AGO prices have gone up by three times, 2.3.33. Our gypsum cost has gone by almost 3.23 times. Imported coal has gone up by 2.33 times. Spare parts, almost the same because they're linked to the dollar pricing. Only the bag uh, cost has not gone up because we produce our own bags. This is another investment we have done in the backward integration so that we are not at the mercy of importers to charge at the back price. So that cost we have been able to control to 27%.